Hello and welcome back again with Bento Code. Last time we have created a Xamarin Forms application, exactly a to do application, and we did see how to add authentication to our, our application using Twitter. In this part, the third part, we are going to see how to add push notification to our application using Azure Notification Hub and Firebase. But this part is a bit long, so we are going to divide it in two parts. So let's see what you have created last time. Last time we have created this application. So I am signing in and here I'm going to add an item, a new item, and this item is added. Now we are going to uh, configure our Azure uh, service. First, we have to go to our app service. So here I have online session. This is my service, the mobile app, and we are going to look for push to add push notification. Okay, so it's here. So all I have to do is right here push, and here we have push. So here, uh, I have a message, connect to a notification hub to start using app service push. So here we have to uh, click connect. After clicking connect, I you can see that here I have some notification hub that I have configured for some of my application. I'm going for this tutorial to create a new one. So I click add notification hub. I'm going to give it a name, a hub name, online session hub. Uh, pricing for free. I'm going to pin it to the dashboard and click OK. OK. I must give it a namespace. No namespace. And I should, I think, I think I should create a new namespace. And I'm going to write like that. And OK. So, OK, oh, everything looks fine. Paint the sport and click OK. And here we are going to wait till our um, project or service is connected to a notification hub. It's been deployed right now. And later we are going to configure the notification hub to connect to our platform. Platform. First, we are going to update our uh, backend project, and then we are going to see how to update the Xamarin Forms application. It will take some time. Okay. Okay. Good. Now the deploying notification for hub um, is uh, succeeded great now we here we have our push notification hub ready and later we are going to see how to use it but now what we are we going to do is to update our um, server project to send push notification here I have our uh, backend our server project that we have used in this session. First of all, we are going to make sure that um, we have uh, installed uh, a new get for notification. So here I'm going to see if I have it installed already. No. So I'm looking for this one and I'm going to install it right now. 
yes microsoft.azure.notificationhub and I'm going to install it to my server it will take some time to it's uh, related to your laptop configuration and the internet connection so another computer will it will work i think faster than this one we should wait some time okay yes i would like to install yes i accept the license okay cool it's installed and you can see it right here in the references i guess right here uh, yes microsoft.azure.notificationhub now we have a few steps for configuration we have some using that we are going to add to our controllers so now we go to our to do item controllers and we are going to add some using that um, um, uh, we are going to add some using so we can use this new get now we are going to add using system dot collection dot generic and using microsoft dot azure that notification app also we are going to add using Microsoft Microsoft that Azure dot mobile and server and config okay so this three new using and now we are going to look for um, uh, our uh, post method post to do method and we are going to add some code uh, thing this is it our post to do uh, item and you can see here we have to do item current await asset uh, async items and that can create a root table with ID now we are going uh, to add some code that we have prepared um, we are going to add this code after the insert so after here we are going to add this code we are going to look to the code together this is the part I have add it now this what what this code do exactly it sent a template notification that contains the item dot text when a new item is inserted as you can see right here and this is the message parameter with the item and the text so every time you send an item this new item will be sent as a text and you will receive the item name after it was added to do list and this will send the push notification log cool cool now what are we going to do is to um, republish our project actually we can uh, build it to make sure that we don't have errors
okay succeeded now we are going to publish our project and click publish we'll wait and our project is redirecting to our all right fine everything works fine right now as you can see i have republished the server project and it works fine now in the next part uh, in the next video uh, we are going to configure and run the android project uh, first part we are going to uh, sign in to firebase console and configured later we are going to add some code to our um, uh, portable class and then to our android project uh, so with this video i publish it right now and um, two days i will publish uh, the last video the last thing I want to say that do not forget to visit my website, uh, exactly my blog, to see everything um, I have posted, my last videos, and the configuration that I have added. Also, you can contact me using my mail account or Twitter or my blog. Thank you.